Halloween is a pretty new custom in Sweden. It hasn't really been around since the late 2000s or even the 2010s. But is that actually correct? 20 years ago no one was trick-or-treating in Sweden, but Halloween was actually celebrated back in the 1990s. And you could actually find Halloween parties way back in the 1980s as well. So when did Halloween really start in Sweden? Let's dive into how Halloween is celebrated in Sweden. The US spends billions of dollars on Halloween candy, Halloween decorations and Halloween celebrations every year. Kids and adults dress up and you can find Halloween parties all over the country. Trick-or-treating has been around since at least the 1940s and American kids are accustomed to stuffing themselves to oblivion every Halloween. Things aren't exactly like that in Sweden. There's a lot of similarities between American and Swedish Halloween celebrations, but there's also a lot of differences. And Sweden actually has two competing holidays. In the US, Halloween took over the traditional All Hallows Eve celebration, but that's not really the case in Sweden. But let's start at the beginning. Let's go back to the earliest traces of Halloween celebrations in Sweden. The earliest traces of Halloween in Sweden dates back to the 1980s. Hard Rock Cafe had a Halloween party in 1986, for example. And some families had Halloween-themed children's parties in the 80s as well. In 1988, a Halloween parade with 200 participants was arranged in Stockholm. And Butrix, a costume store in Sweden, sold Halloween accessories in the early 90s. In 1992, there was a rush of people buying pumpkins, and Svenska Dagbladet, a Swedish newspaper, proclaimed that Halloween had come to Sweden. In the year 2000, the same newspaper wrote that Halloween got its footholds in Sweden around five years before that. So sometime between the mid-90s and the early 2000s, Halloween had become a relatively established holiday in Sweden. But there was a problem. Halloween clashed with another holiday and a custom of celebrating All Hallows Day. Samhain was an ancient Celtic holiday that celebrated the end of summer and the beginning of a new year. The Celts believed that the veil between the living and the dead was especially thin on that day, so the spirits of the dead could visit the world of the living. Samhain was eventually Christianized into All Hallows' Eve, followed by All Hallows' Day. That might not be completely true though. Some academics believe that Halloween started as a purely Christian holiday and has nothing to do with Samhain. They say that it's a complete coincidence that both Halloween and Samhain concern dead spirits returning to the world of the living and that they're celebrated on exactly the same day. Well, what can I say? I know what I believe at least. There's a little bit too many coincidences there. Sweden never cared much about All Hallows' Eve, but All Hallows' Day has been observed. In Christianity, it's a day to celebrate martyrs and saints, but in Sweden, it's mostly a day to honor the memory of lost family and friends. And it's also a day where you help these spirits find their way home again by lighting candles on their graves. All Hallows' Day used to be called All Souls' Day in Sweden. Up until the 1700s, the day was officially marked as Souls' Day in all calendars. So, while Halloween is typically seen as a day to ward off evil spirits, the Swedes were trying to guide these spirits back home instead, so that they could meet their loved ones again. Ever since the 1700s, All Hallows Day has moved around in Sweden. It doesn't take place on a fixed date like Halloween, it takes place on the Saturday of that week. Halloween always takes place on October 31st, so there was a bit of confusion when Halloween was introduced to Sweden. Is it the same holiday as All Hallows Day, and does it take place on the Saturday in that case? Or maybe the Friday before, since it's supposed to be All Hallows Eve? In 2001, the biggest retail stores in Sweden decided that Halloween should be a separate holiday from All Hallows Day and that it should take place on October 31st. 
And that's still causing confusion to this very day. We have an official holiday that sounds very similar to Halloween, but that one always takes place on a Saturday. The Friday before that holiday is an official public holiday in Sweden, and that's actually All Hallows Eve in Sweden. But it's not Halloween, because Halloween always takes place on October 31st. Sometimes that's the same day as All Hallows Eve, but most of the time it's not. This year Halloween takes place on the Thursday before All Hallows Eve, for example. This is extremely confusing, and it means that even after 20 years, we're still not really sure when or how to celebrate Halloween. One thing that Swedes do know about Halloween is that you're supposed to go trick-or-treating. Even though it's called bus eller godis in Swedish, mischief or candy. That's the semi-official translation for the semi-official holiday activity, and I have to say that I'm not a big fan of it. It's a bit too on the nose in Swedish. It's also pretty sporadic whether or not people actually do any trick-or-treating or, or booze eller godising. In the US, you have hordes of kids of all ages running around getting buckets full of candy. In Sweden, you might see really, really young children timidly asking for a single piece of candy. Or possibly two. Trick-or-treating is still a relatively foreign practice in Sweden, and people haven't really taken it to heart. In fact, Halloween is almost mostly a grown-up holiday in Sweden. Kids may enjoy dressing up as a goblin or a pink fairy and getting a few pieces of candy, but most celebrations occur with a bit more alcohol involved. Bars all over the cities announce Halloween evenings and Halloween parties and Halloween events. Syntex Error has a Halloween party, for example, and there used to be a Halloween party boat, but that one is no longer sailing, unfortunately. But the biggest Halloween celebrations in Sweden probably takes place at amusement parks. Kolmården is a huge zoo that focuses on spooky Halloween activities, and Gröna Lund, an amusement park in Stockholm, also has Halloween theming in October. I'm a big kid at heart, so I love visiting amusement parks, especially at Halloween. Liseberg in Gothenburg is Sweden's biggest amusement park, and they've had a pretty massive Halloween celebration since 2015. The park itself is more than 100 years old, and hundreds of thousands of people visit it during Halloween. Aside from all the normal attractions, you can also see tons of actors running around, scaring adults and children alike. And of course, a lot of Halloween-specific attractions too. Grönalund is also nothing to sneeze at. It's a gorgeous boardwalk amusement park located on the island of Royal Djurgården in Stockholm. They've had a Halloween celebration since 2017, which actually isn't all that long ago. But they're still going all out on the theming. There's tens of thousands of pumpkins that have to give up their lives to become Halloween decorations in both Grönalund and Liseberg every year. Anyway, let's go back to discussing some more differences between Halloween in Sweden and Halloween in the US. Halloween in Sweden isn't a billion-dollar industry that it is in America. In some ways, Halloween in Sweden is almost like going back in time when comparing with American Halloween traditions. I found an article from 2018 where an American immigrant in Sweden talks about the differences between the countries. Halloween costumes in Sweden are much more traditional than in the US. We're still dressing up as witches and wizards and fairies. And of course, pirates and superheroes and other popular characters. But it's still more retro when compared to American costumes. You won't find as many satirical or political costumes, for example. Sweden simply hasn't become jaded enough yet to want to push the envelope. Swedish candy is also a bit different. There's apparently a lot more smaller pieces of candy compared to in America. And the kids eat less candy as well. Maybe that's something the US should adopt from Sweden. There's also a lot less enthusiasm for Halloween over here. You won't find die-hard Halloween fanatics who go all out on decorations. 
Swedes tend to go all out on Christmas though, so maybe we're just saving it all up for December. Even though I guess we can't really compete with Christmas fanatics in the US either. The article I found mentions that celebrating Halloween in Sweden is like taking a step back in time to a simpler age. It doesn't really look all that different from Halloween in America if you compare it with America a generation ago. Maybe Halloween will become a bigger thing in Sweden. People need something fun to do in the cold Swedish autumn after all. We don't have Thanksgiving or anything else interesting happening in November at all, so it makes sense to have something to celebrate in October. But on the other hand, we've had more than 20 years of trying to adopt Halloween, and it's still just a half-celebrated holiday over here. Maybe we'll be satisfied with just having some Halloween parties and dressing up as witches and zombies. And maybe trick-or-treating will never become a really big thing in Sweden. But I think that Halloween theming at amusement parks is here to stay at least, and that's good enough for me. And that was my little summary of how Halloween is celebrated in Sweden, and how these celebrations differ from those in the US. I hope you found it interesting. Like and subscribe, but most importantly, have a great day.